I hope this video came off the way I intended it to, and I'm definitely not putting a brother down. So if you're watching, uh, brother, I'm not putting you down. Um, I do appreciate what you were trying to say. Uh, I do appreciate if you believe you were helping people um, from purchasing a product that you thought was a scam. I do wish that you tried the product first. What's going on? It's your brother X9 back to do another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about where do you get your beard advice and your information from? All right, so first, really quick, I wanna start this video off by saying, good to see y'all brothers. It's good to be back. Good to be in front of the camera just to say what's up to y'all. I know it's been a minute. Uh, we've been very, very, very busy uh, behind the scenes. A lot of special things coming for y'all. Uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and it's been kind of hard for me to try to juggle uh, between the two, but I'm still here for y'all. I'll never let y'all brothers down. I'll always be back and my apologies for that. But let's go ahead and jump right into why we're here and the purpose of this video. And basically it's about where are you getting your beer information from? Uh, hopefully this is a teachable moment for him as well. Um, and just to give you guys a, a make a long story short, uh, basically, there was a video that was out there. Uh, there's a video circul circulating around on social media, and it is a classic grooming video. Um, and part of the video is showing our leaving. Um, so this brother uh, put in the comment section of the video that the leaving um, was a scam. So when the question was asked to him, what makes it a scam? His response was a picture of himself with his beard. Okay, um, he had a decent beard. Um, it did look like uh, it could have used uh, some classic attention, uh, but um, it was it was a decent beard. All right. Um, now, basically, his response was, "Look at my beard. It's grown to this length, and I haven't used your product, so your therefore your product is a scam." All right. Um, and I just wanted to address that because I see that a lot. Um, from brothers getting their information from other people who says, um, well, I never used the beard oil and look at my beard, or I never used the leave-in and look at my beard. Um, so understanding who you're learning from and who you're getting your information from is gonna help you along your beard journey, all right? Um, and one of the things you should learn very early on, um, you, have, you have different types of people, okay? So you have one person that, this is my experience, this is what I went through, so this is the way it is all, of, all the way across the board. Then you have another kind of person that says, this is my experience, this is what I went through, but I do understand that other people have different experiences, um, but let me tell you about mine, and maybe you can take something uh, from mine as well, maybe I can take something from yours. That's the kind of person that you should be learning from, all right? And I say that because there are lots of different beard textures, there's lots of different beard types, um, all the way down to your diet may just vary. So there's things that one person may need uh, for their beard to be successful and healthy and grow um, and reach its optimal levels. And another person might not need those things, all right? And that could be uh, because of their beard texture. And texture, sometimes we get it confused and say, well, his beard looks like mine, so it has to be like mine. And there's a lot more that goes into it than just our beards look similar, all right? So um, you may have a curly beard, you may have a super coily beard, you may have a beard that's prone to breakage, you may have a beard that's dry, your diet just may be off and you may be a little bit more dehydrated, so your beard hairs tend to be a lot drier than the next man. Um, you may be using a better quality oil, he may be using a cheaper oil, you guys are gonna have different experiences with oil. Um, there's so many different things. You guys just may be using the product differently. You may have one person that says, I don't like beard oil. It just sits on top of my beard and makes my beard look shiny. Um, that, could be, that could be because of two reasons. Number one, are you using a beard oil that is primarily based with sealing oils, all right, that are just sitting on top of your beard? Uh, or number two, are you just using your beard oils incorrectly? Are you applying them to a dry beard or are you using them applied to a beard that's damp already and trying to lock in that moisture and get the benefits of your beard oil, all right? So there are a lot of different variables, a lot of different instances 
um, that you have to take into consideration instead of just making a blanket statement. I don't need this, so you don't need it, all right? Um, and something as valuable as a leave-in uh, conditioner, our leave-in hydration mist, all right? And I don't have one in front of me, but I'm gonna put a picture of one on the screen uh, with our website. Something as valuable as this leave-in hydration mist um, that can boost that moisture, it can boost that hydration level in your beer, all right? It's really gonna hydrate. Um, it's aloe base, so it's gonna give you those benefits. You're not gonna get the same benefits by just using a simple beard oil. Now, does everyone need a leave-in hydration mist? Absolutely not. Uh, there's people with different hair types, people with different hair textures, um, people with different lengths of, of beard. So if you have a, a very short beard, you may get away with nothing on your beard, all right? And part of the reason for that, um, if we break it down, um, your sebum oils, when you have a lower beard, are more likely to go from the surface of your skin all the way out to the tip of your beard hairs, as opposed to when you have a long curly beard and that sebum oil is supposed to get down to the tip of your beard. It's a little bit harder, so your beard tends to be a little bit drier and you need a lot more help, all right? So there are differences in, um, in what one person may need. Um, and, it, and like I said, it could be based on the length of your beard, the size of your beard. It could be based on the thickness of your beard. It could be based on the texture of your beard. It can be based on your diet. It can be based on your alcohol intake. Are you drinking a lot of alcohol and just drying your body out? It, are you drinking a lot of caffeine, a lot of coffee and drying your body out and not replacing it or rehydrating with water? Um, so there are products that are gonna help you to get the best possible beard journey that you can get, all right? So um, I don't really wanna go on and on. I just wanted to come on and tell you our brothers uh, because I do know that a lot of you guys are getting information from a lot of different sources and getting information from those diff different sources are good. Just understand uh, what information you should keep and retain and what you should throw away. You can learn a little bit from everybody, but just understand uh, number one, no one person has all the answers. And number two, someone else's experiences may not line up with your experience. Uh, someone else's texture may not line up with your texture. Someone else's product choice and what works for them may not line up with your product choice and what works for you. So anytime you have someone that says, this is all you need, uh, you don't need this, you don't need anything, before they even ask you any questions about what problems you may be having with your beard. Uh, are you suffering from dryness? Are you suffering from breakage? Are you suffering from split ends? It'd almost be like you walking into a doctor's office and they just write you out a prescription, but they didn't even ask you, what are, what are your symptoms? What's going on with you? What's wrong with you? And they just tell you, this is all you need, all right? Um, just like you may have one person that drinks alcohol from the time they were an adolescent all the way until they were 90 years old and they drank alcohol every day, and their liver's fine, you may have another person that ends up with liver liver damage uh, and, and stuff like that. You may have somebody that smokes tons of cigarettes every day and they never end up with lung cancer, you may have someone else uh, that does. Uh, so there are a lot of different variables, a lot of different situations. Everybody's different. Everybody's chemical makeup, their body makeup, their hair makeup, their beard makeup, all these things may be different. And simply just saying to someone, because I don't need this, you don't need that. Um, you're not helping anybody. And we're all on a journey to obtain knowledge. We all, we're all on a journey to learn. None of us, me included, has all the answers, all right? Um, if I wake up and I, and I went through my day and I didn't learn something on that day, it almost feels like a wasted day. So I'm always on a mission to learn something and not just to put things out there like if I know it all already, all right? Um, so. I hope this video came off the way I intended it to, and I'm definitely not putting a brother down. So if you're watching, uh, brother, I'm not putting you down. Um, I do appreciate what you were trying to say. Uh, I do appreciate if you believe you were helping people um, from purchasing a product that you thought was a scam. I do wish that you tried the product first uh, because your misrepresentation of scam could mean to people that a lot of different things. Um, they may not understand and they may think that you were saying, don't buy from them, this is a scam, they're never gonna ship your products. They may be thinking you're saying, um, this is a scam, it's really not what uh, they say it is. Um, as opposed to you 
simply just saying this is a scam look at my beard i didn't need it you don't need it too which is what <laughs> which is what you're saying and quite frankly and with all love man that makes absolutely no sense all right and i just want to ask y'all brothers for any of y'all that have used the classic grooming products do me a favor and put it in the comment section of this video how those products work out for you and how much they've changed uh your beard and your beard journey uh once again it's your brother x i appreciate all of y'all thanks again thanks for all the love thanks for all the support on this channel we try to keep it positive at all times but sometimes we got to address a little negativity uh so i apologize to y'all for that it's your brother x still love y'all i'll be back soon y'all brother stay tuned stay blessed one love y'all peace